Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's tutorial because I'm gonna be showing you my new foundation routine. More like no makeup, no foundation face routine. So I did show you this over on my Instagram stories and I saved it into my highlights, but I figured I would put this here on YouTube so you guys can come back here and watch it anytime you wanna try this technique out. I've been loving the results and I'm not wearing any foundation and it's mask proof, heat proof, and it feels incredible. It feels like I have no makeup on and you can still see my skin through it, which I love. And then I'm gonna be showing you how I do the rest of this look. So I'm really excited. It's a full on tutorial, face, eyes, and lips. So I hope that you guys enjoy and if you want to stick around to see how I created this entire look, then just keep on watching. So I'm first going to start off with my Benefit Professional Primer, and I'm just going to apply this right in my T-zone area because I tend to have larger pores because my face is really oily. So what this primer is going to do is minimize the appearance of my pores and make my skin look smoother. So now the next step to this no makeup makeup look is concealer. So I'm not going to be applying any foundation. I want my skin to be able to really nicely breathe and look like my skin. But I do want to cover up a little bit of redness that I have, like any type of scarring or breakouts or just redness in certain areas. So I'm going into the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer in Gypsum. And then just applying it on the areas that I want to cover up. Now once that's applied, I'm gonna go into this Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush and I'm just gonna start pushing that concealer in, making sure not to really move it around and then lightly buff the edges. So you wanna make sure that you're using a concealer that's super close to your skin shade just so it looks more natural and it looks like your skin is just nice and flawless. So now for the concealer under my eyes, I'm not applying too, too much. I'm just gonna kind of do a little mark like that. And then using that same Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush, I'm gonna start buffing that concealer in. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I just kind of brush over my cheek. Now that that concealer is all applied, I'm going into my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just gonna pick this up on my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I'm gonna start applying this over top of the areas that I applied the concealer. So why I'm using the powder right now is you could totally leave your skin like this and not apply anything else, but I'm going to be applying a powder foundation. I know I mentioned it's no foundation, but it doesn't really feel like a foundation, doesn't look like a foundation. It just adds a little bit of color back to my skin because I'm applying a little bit of this powder to set the concealer. So the powder foundation is obviously tinted, so if I wouldn't have set the concealer because my skin is oily, the concealer is still tacky, the foundation would have just kind of clinged to the areas and then darkened those areas and become patchy. So I'm going to set the concealed area areas first just to make sure that nothing is patchy and everything is really smooth and set in place. All right, get ready for a long name. <laughs> I'm now going to set the rest of my face with the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation and I'm in the shade Light Medium Golden. So I'm just going to take a large fluffy brush and I'm using the Real Techniques Powder Brush and I'm going to start applying this all over my face just quickly to make sure everything is nice and set. So I filled in my brows off camera just because I already have a tutorial on how I fill my brows. So I'll link that video down below in the description box. You guys can go check that out. So now let's move on to contour. Once again, you can leave your face just like this. Super natural, but I want to add a little bit of definition and a little bit of color and bronziness back into my skin. So I'm going to the Benefit Hoola Bronzer and I'm going to apply that with my Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. Okay, now for blush. I have been loving blushes lately. I've been trying to kind of apply them a little bit different to give myself that kind of sun kiss, kind of burnt look. And I just feel like it makes my face look really nice and fresh and awake and super summery. So I've been loving these blushes. These are the Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blushes and blush, not blushes. I have only one in my hand. And this is in the shade Mykonos. So I'm going to apply this on the apple of my cheek with my Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. And I'm sweeping that on the apple of my cheek and then applying that a little bit higher up than I usually would and then pulling that back. And then you can take a little bit and just run that over your nose. And then just take the brush that I use to apply my foundation with and just lightly buff over that just to soften everything and melt everything into the skin. So I just highlighted the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the tip just to kind of slim my nose down. I'm always gonna do that forever and ever. And now for highlight, I'm going into the Cookie Highlight by Benefit. I am obsessed with this highlighter. It is so, <laughs> it is so incredible and super blinding. So I'm gonna apply that on the high point of my cheek with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. 
and then just back in with my blush brush just to soften and melt everything together and that is the skin done so now let's move on to eyes you can do whatever you want with the rest of your face your eyes you can play them up with something dramatic a little bit of liner or just nothing at all curl your lashes apply a little bit of mascara and that's it so now I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let's get into it I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Love in London eyeshadow palette I'm picking up scone with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to start running this through my crease just to add a little bit of definition and help make the lid shadow blendable when I apply it through the crease. I'm going into the Maybelline Color Strike Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Pen in 55 Flare. I haven't used or seen a product like this since like early 2000s, so I'm so excited to use this. And it's so quick and easy to do your shadow, so I'm going to start just applying this all over my lid. And I'm using a light hand just so it doesn't get harsh and I'm still going to be able to blend it out then. And then when I start getting to my crease, I'm going to just lightly apply this at the bottom of my crease area. Again, using a light hand and kind of just going back and forth like I would if I would be blending the shadow. And then you can lightly start creating a winged out shape. There's another really pretty color in this. It's kind of like a really shimmery cobalt blue. And I really want to do like a super graphic, like big winged look. So let me know in the comments if you guys would want to see that. So now that I have that all applied, I'm going in with my E25 blending brush. I'm going to start brushing that over top of my lid, going back and forth, and then start blending the crease area. So you just have to kind of take some time and go back and forth in little circular motions blending the crease out it will definitely end up blending out it just takes a little bit of time and if you feel like it's a little patchy in certain areas after you blended everything out just go in and apply that over top to make sure there's no patchy areas and then going back in with scone and my e38 i'm applying that the very high point of my crease to make sure that everything is super blended out and very diffused and then applying this on my lower lash line all the way into this inner part of my lower lash line. And then going in with my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush and blending that out. I'm going into the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Retractable Gel Eyeliner in Black is Black. I'm so curious about this liner because they market it as smudge proof, cry proof, and humidity proof. So I can't wait to test it out and see how long it really does last. I'm now going into Cheeky. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. This shadow gets me every single time I apply it. I'm applying this with my Sigma F70 concealer brush and just lightly feather that up just to diffuse that out. I'm going to apply mascara and false lashes and I'm going to Ardell Mega Volume Lashes in 257. And that's the eye look done. I feel like I haven't done a bold lip in a while, so I want to do a nice, intense, bright red lip. So first I'm going to line my lips with the MAC Lip Pencil in Cherry. And then using the pencil, I'm just going to shade around my lips. And then lightly buff that in with my Smashbox lip brush. And now for my lipstick, I'm going into the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Liquid Lipstick and I don't. And that is it. This is a completed look of my no foundation foundation routine and my quick and easy taupe smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love how my skin looks. I hope that you guys try it out. And if you do, definitely let me know in the comments how your skin looks at the end, how you feel, if you're loving it more than wearing a full coverage foundation. If you would have told me about a year ago that I would not be wearing my full coverage foundations and I would be rocking my natural skin, I would probably laugh and be like, that's not a thing. Like I would never put my full coverage foundation away and just be more natural, which I'm so happy that I am now. I'm so happy that I'm more confident in my skin. And I hope that you guys try this technique out and feel more confident in your skin as well. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have all that linked down below so you guys can find me easier and follow me. And I'll have linked down below all the products that I used along with my brush set with Sigma that I used to create this look. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!